I used to give so many different types of supplements to Jericho. I had a raw food premix, taurine, lysine, a daily multivitamin, colostrum, probiotics, enzymes, and the list goes on. I started to ask myself, does this make sense? You know, is this too much? I started to feel like I was giving more powders than actual food. And especially considering that Jericho eats raw and some whole prey. And now that I'm moving towards a prey model raw with whole chunks and raw meaty bones, plus the whole prey, it just, it just didn't make sense to me. So now I'm only giving him one supplement and honestly, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's such a relief and it's a whole food supplement that cats would likely get in the wild anyway. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and this is probably going to go against everything that I've said in the past regarding, you know, make sure it's complete and balanced and make sure you supplement and use this raw food premix. But like I mentioned, I'm moving towards a more prey model raw diet for Jericho instead of ground food. And I'm going to feed him more whole prey. So it just didn't make sense to me to feed all of these powders when he's eating whole foods. So the only supplement that I'm giving Jericho now is blue green algae. And this provides a wide variety of nutrients. And technically cats would consume a little bit of algae when they drink from fresh water sources like lakes. So first let's talk about blue green algae benefits. What are the nutritional benefits of blue green algae? First, blue green algae provides a wide array of amino acids. And if you look at the graph that shows the difference between a perfect protein amino acid profile and what blue green algae provides, it's pretty close. Now you'll notice that taurine isn't listed and taurine, of course, is essential for cats, but taurine is especially high in hardworking muscles like the heart or if you're feeding thighs and if you're feeding it raw, your cat's getting enough of it. Liver is also very high in taurine. Blue-green algae is also high in B vitamins and B vitamins are water-soluble just like taurine, so that's why raw is the best diet. Blue-green algae also provides essential fatty acids and that can help contribute to controlling inflammation. There are also some trace minerals in blue-green algae, so I see this supplement as like a whole food, vitamin, mineral, amino acid, essential fatty acids, and probiotics, enzymes basically a whole food vitamin mineral supplement all in one. Now, of course, this is a plant-based ingredient and cats are carnivores. However, the blue-green algae, as I mentioned, would be available to them in freshwater lakes. And it also has a microscopic cell wall size, so it's much easier to digest. Dr. Laurel of SunVet Animal Wellness talks about blue-green algae and its benefits for cats and dogs. Just like I mentioned, protein, omega-3s, B and E vitamins, and some trace minerals. And stuff like this can help contribute to healthy skin and coat, strengthened immune system, reduced inflammation, and so much more. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up so more cat parents can learn about this wonderful superfood for their cats. Thanks so much. Dr. Karen Becker also talks about algae, specifically spirulina, and she sees this as a wonderful whole food supplement and also mentions the same benefits as Dr. Laurel. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I kind of want to take a step back and ask myself, does this make sense? And with raw meaty bones and whole parts and whole prey, now with algae, I'm kind of going back to what nature would provide our cats with. So if you're with me in this transition, comment below, let's get back to nature. Because a lot of us are feeding our cats not many foods that are close to what their natural cousins in the wild would eat. So comment below, let's get back to nature. And hopefully others that come across this video and see all those comments, let's get back to nature. They might be interested in watching this video and then more cat parents can feed their cats naturally. So again, I consider blue-green algae like this whole food supplement that can help fill in the gaps when you're feeding a prey metal raw and whole prey diet. And I like this much better because it's whole food instead of isolated synthetic nutrients. Well, let's talk about natural versus isolated synthetic nutrients. So isolated synthetic nutrients are essentially an isolated version of that whole food. They're created in a lab. Some of them are human grade and some of them are not. And the importance of this is that some of these isolated synthetic nutrients can actually cause more harm than good 
especially if they're given in excess. There are two studies linked below, and one of them discusses a mineral analysis of UK pet foods. And they found that many of those pet foods either failed to meet the minimum requirements or exceeded the maximum requirements. And they say that if you feed these foods with imbalances, especially in excess, over a long period of time, especially if it's the only pet food that your pet eats, this can cause real problems to your cat's health. The other study is titled, Not All Forms of Dietary Phosphorus Are Equal, and they specifically measured the cat's blood plasma with eating the synthetic version and the natural version. And they found that the synthetic version of phosphorus can cause harm in cats, whereas the natural version of phosphorus coming from food does not affect them in a negative way. And this is super important, especially with cats and the concern of kidney disease, because we're all told that phosphorus is the enemy, but that's not the whole truth. Synthetic phosphorus, especially when it's given in excess amounts, can be detrimental, whereas natural forms of phosphorus, like from raw meat and meaty bones, is completely fine because that's what the cat is des designed to digest. Now, another note on giving blue-green algae specifically, of course, you wanna make sure that it comes from a clean source because you can have this whole natural food that it has all the natural nutrients, but of course, if you're buying something that's toxic and has chemicals in it, it's still going to cause problems. So the brand that I buy from sources from a lake in Oregon, they screen it, they filter it, they dry it, they test it, they make sure that there's no contaminants, and then they sell it. So now let's talk about how I used to give supplements to Jericho and how I give them now. So in the past, I used to mix all of his supplements in with his food, basically gave him no choice and just gave them to him. Now I just spill out a little bit of the algae pill onto his food mat with his meal and Jericho gets to decide when he needs it and when he doesn't need it. I like this much better because Jericho has full control over what he eats and what he doesn't eat. So he knows what it is. He can sniff it and, and understand what's inside of it because their nose is way stronger than ours. So I like this a lot because he's choosing whether to eat it or not instead of me just forcing it into him. And I really feel like our bond is getting stronger because I'm giving him a choice rather than just forcing something on him. And I take the algae supplements too, so it's really fun to share food with him. You can check out this video right over Meow to see what Jericho eats in a day to see his updated diet. Thanks for watching. So the only supplement... Woo!